if you eat a prune, there's no debate left. You understand that it tastes great. A lot of my friends call it plum candy. People will eat our prunes and say, how do you make it so sweet? How, how come it's so good? Farmers need to use a little bit of science, use a little bit of common sense, and thirdly, some intuition that they've developed over the years. And they combine all those attributes, and that's really the craft. I was born on a prune ranch. I've been growing and dehydrating prunes since then. I'm 34 years old, and uh, growing up had several friends that were either families were farmers or interested in agriculture. My dad and uncle started farming um, in 1964 in Sutter County. It's been a family business ever since. We've been uh, doing the organic farming since uh, 1990 is when my brother and I started that, that part of our business. The reason that California dried plums are superior has to do with some natural factors. We have ample sunshine, we have ample water, and a growing season that adds to the product. The other reason that California dried plums are so good for you is that we have a very high standard of food safety, and so you end up with a product that's very clean and very nutritious and very sweet. The other aspect of, of food safety in the prune industry is we also have a, a third party called the Dried Fruit Association. Food safety really starts out in the orchard and really what we're talking about is making sure there's proper controls in place to control the quality of the fruit, to also control the safety of that product and all this adds up to ensure that what the consumer gets in that bag of prunes they buy off the grocery shelf really is going to be safe to consume. When you grow dried plums, you need to um, think about how you're going to impart the most nutrition into that piece of fruit so that it's going to be nice and plump and sweet. You know, it takes a skill. It's not something you just learn overnight. It takes years of it. You know, it becomes a craft. There's a small cadre of, of farmers here in California that have a long association with growing this crop. Growing up, the tool was a tractor. You know, everybody talked about their tractor or their pickup and what kind of tools that they had in their pickup. The tools that are necessary now is your smartphone with all the various apps so you can check you know, water moisture and, and wind temperature and air temperature. And even the foreman in the field now, I mean, they're all relying on their smartphones as far as when to irrigate. Unlike other jobs, when I see the result of our work, it's tangible. I can see it, touch it, taste it, and it's very rewarding. We are very optimistic about the future of prunes. In the last five to seven years, we've seen renewed interest and the future looks bright.